עודד גרף שלום and welcome to culture buzz עודד together with יוסי uh, ברג you are rocking the international dancing and the purpose of this conversation is to find out how exactly do you manage to do it uh, what's the secret What's the secret? Uh, I don't think there is a secret. I think uh, me and Yossi started uh, our collaboration uh, in 2005. Uh, we started quite in a low scale and uh, it was a long process of development and working very hard. I mean, um, uh, and it was like uh, stone after stone, like building uh, what we achieve and uh, It was a long process of like learning uh, this world, this, how to rock the dancing, the international uh, dancing. And, and of course it's like still evolving and still developing and uh, I really feel like we're still in the beginning of course. Uh, both in the artistic Lucky level us. and Lucky yes, us. And in the, also in the recognition. And, uh, yeah, I mean this, this last, uh, this last two, three years We really have been lucky to, to perform in, in, in many, many different places and to get a lot of knowledge of different audiences and, and, to, and, and in, in a way also to do what we, what we wish to do, to really expose our art and to expose our works uh, internationally, also in Israel, of course. Uh, yeah. And looking at your uh, itinerary, your schedule, I must say it's very impressive. You are touring extensively all over the world. We are lucky to get a glimpse uh, from you now and then in Israel. Uh, yeah, true. I mean, uh, last week we came from, let's say, let's say our schedule is, is, is lately very, very busy. I mean, uh, our works combine both from touring and also from creating uh, in different places. I mean, uh, Next, we are, next week we are going to, to go to Barcelona to work uh, with a dance company there to recreate uh, a piece that we already done uh, and that we perform in a, in a big festival in uh, Barcelona, Greg Festival, which is a, a very nice one. And last week we came back from Prague, we did uh, an old piece uh, of ours uh, in a festival there. With the animals. It's Animal Lost, yeah. Uh, Before that we've been like four months uh, creating a new piece uh, in Copenhagen. Uh, it was a long period and, and this piece is going to come soon to Israel in August uh, uh, to Suzanne Dalal Center. The Israeli premiere? Yeah, in an Israeli premiere. We're going to do it in, uh, in August in uh, the Summer Dance Festival in Suzanne Dalal. We promise to be there. Yeah, you, you have to be there. It's uh, also, not only you will be there, also All our cast, all our dancers from Denmark will, will come to Israel. Wonderful. Uh, all the way uh, to Tel Aviv. Excellent. So it's going to be uh, a very challenging uh, production for us, but also we're ex extremely excited about it. Uh, I mean, we did, it, we did this piece already, premiered it already in, in Europe, but uh, it's going to be the first time in Israel. And, and of course, it's our, our hometown, Tel Aviv. And, and This is in a way the real thing for us uh, to expose it here. So Wonderful. we're really excited about this. Wonderful. Uh, this. We, we can't wait till August. It's going to be very hot, of course. July, August. Uh, Odette, Already now. Yes. Odette, I wanted to ask you, uh, you have a special love affair with Copenhagen. Uh, you told me just before this conversation, that from time to time you go there and you work with the local uh, dancers. So, what can you tell us about this? How did it start? Why Copenhagen? Actually, it started uh, me going there as a dancer. Uh, I, I went to do there a few dance projects. And, and actually, I just did my first steps as a choreographer. I, I was participating uh, in a choreography competition and uh, I won a prize in this competition and the prize was creating a, a bigger piece and slowly like uh, 
a relationship with the theater was uh, was starting there and uh, dances in the theater, which is maybe the major theater for dance. Um, and slowly things uh, started to evolve, and yeah, and we, we of course I started in this year also. The year is also to create uh, together with Yossi, Yossi Bell, which we are completely in full collaboration doing. I mean, now it's only me, but everything that I'm saying is also on behalf of Yossi. Uh, we will so pretend that Yossi is here. Yes, we can. Uh, yeah, in the last in the last uh, three years we are we produced there are like three different. Uh, pieces there. Uh, I really really enjoy the dividing in a way the time of creating uh, the, in Israel and and uh, creating time in Denmark. I think these two places are uh, working very well together. <laughs> there is uh, a lot of contradictions but also a lot of things that are very parallel and uh, in many senses I feel very privileged to, to live also uh, from time to time in Copenhagen, I mean, besides the beautiful city and the great weather, uh, especially in the summer. Especially in the summer. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I like actually cold weather. Really? Yeah. Okay. So you enjoy me, the Danish for winter? For me, it's much better than uh, July in Tel Aviv. So basically, it's safe to say that you have been building a cultural bridge between Little Denmark and Little Israel. Exactly, I think, uh, I think it's actually very uh, special in, in some senses because in two of our last productions we are also collaborating with the same team, I mean uh, the same dancers, the same uh, costume designer, the same musician, the same light designer, the same PR, the same production house, so in a way it was very, it's very nice to come there and to know that you have some kind of uh, uh, artistic team and uh, some kind of a uh, second home and uh, a place that you can really... and it's not obvious uh, that this, because it, we are also dealing with uh, very delicate things and uh, with very personal uh, subjects and it's, it's very nice to know that even though we are from different countries and from different backgrounds there is something that can really really go together uh, and I hope it can be also, I mean, uh, we feel it as a very deep connection as well uh, and we are not taking it for granted, I think there is something very unique about it uh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, now that I think of it, listening to you, I remember, I recall, for I can bring two examples from Norway, where there is similar collaboration. One involves Sharon Eyal in Bergen with Carte Blanche, a local dance troupe. The other one in Bal Pinto, who's, who's having some kind of a... a a wonderful alliance with the city of Stavanger. Yeah, yeah. So I heard about uh, this collaboration, of course. Maybe this calls for the following question, and you are one of the best people to answer it. Okay, I hope. An Israeli dancer, an Israeli choreographer, making a buzz both in Israel and all over the world. What makes Israeli modern dance such an attraction for everybody? Now we want the secret. The secret. I don't think there is a secret so much. Actually, I hear this question a lot. Um, always, like in talks after the show, like um, people are asking us, like, uh, is this what we saw, like, uh, an Israeli dance? Is this the mark? Um, I don't know. It's very hard for me to generalize. I have to say. So therefore, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I know exactly how to put a finger or what makes Israeli dance into Israeli dance. I think you cannot separate the intensity there is by living in Israel uh, from the art that is producing here. Uh, there is some kind of a, a essential uh, feeling to the works, uh, something that may be more impulsive. Uh, the energy. The level of energy. The level of energy, maybe. Creativity. Uh, even though I have to say, like, I saw a lot of energetic pieces and impulsive pieces also from another creators in the world. So it's also, um, I, I, it's still hard for me to put the to fingers. Define, to define. To define. And I'm not sure it's possible because I think also the people who live here and create here are from different backgrounds and uh, right. creating from different approaches. And I think it's, it's, it's great. And, uh, 
I don't think we should unify ourselves in any sense uh, the opposite. Like it's nice that each one is like uh, trying to understand his own direction. As long as it's working. As long as it's working. We don't touch it. Yeah. If it's if it's not broken, don't touch it. Yeah. What can we wish uh, Odette Graf and Yossi Berg for uh, the future, the near future, the more I'm asking myself the same, like uh, Basically, I'm really, really passionate and curious about creating uh, more works and really finding the core of our creation and uh, understand it in a deeper level and, and, and fulfilling our artistic uh, uh, fantasies uh, that we have a lot. Uh, I just wish we had enough, have enough time and the energy and the... Uh, all the conditions and uh, around it to fulfill it. This is in the personal level and uh, of course in the national level uh, there is a lot to wish as well. Uh, a question maybe that is an unfair question. Being a dancer or being a choreographer? What do you enjoy more? I haven't been a dancer for a long time. I mean, I'm dancing still in my own, own creation, but I haven't danced for someone else uh, quite a long time. I mean, uh, since 2006, I was dancing only in our, uh, only, only in my, in, in, in mine and yours. Exclusively. Cases. Exclusively. So, uh, I, hope, I, I hope I will have a chance still to, to do it. I, I hope I will have some kind of a, period it's suddenly something uh, because I think it would be a great opportunity to dance for someone else and to experience the life of a dancer again but at the moment uh, of course I'm more curious about our, our pieces about our way uh, this is the route we chose and I'm completely uh, satisfied with it for that graph yes I want to thank you very much for taking the time and wish you and Yossi all the best and good luck in all your creations and endeavors in Israel and all over the world. Thank you very much. Shalom, shalom.